game? What was the uh, message in the review of the game? Uh, we moved on pretty quickly, actually. Um, I think you have to in this in this game, but we certainly um, there's a lot of uh, key areas of improvement that we need to take out of that. Essendon certainly exposed in a few areas that we need to get better at. And um, to be honest, the contest was one of them. Um, the first three rounds, our contested stuff's been really good, and um, Essendon certainly taught us a lesson around the footy on the weekend. Sort of said maybe a young side might have been a bit intimidated by the moment, and, and you can learn from a game like that and take it forward. Yeah, we can certainly learn from it. Um, I'm not sure about the intimidation or anything like that. Um, I thought we were really well prepared. I thought we uh, knew Essendon really well. We knew what they wanted to do. Um, unfortunately, they were a lot hungrier than us. In this game, if you're 2% off, um, opposition teams make you pay and Essendon were able to jump us. And um, Although our second half was gallant, um, unfortunately the game was, was, was won and lost really early and they were able to um, put scoreboard pressure on and we were, weren't able to come back. In, in hindsight, did you think there was any chance that you'd taken your eye off that game and looked to this one? Because there'd been a lot of hype about this Collingwood match sort of since the start of the season? Uh, not really, no. Um, we put that to bed pretty early on in the week, um, that we wouldn't focus on, on what was happening this week. We, we understood Essendon um, play really, really good brand of football and we needed to be up for that challenge and um, on the weekend we weren't. Um, but there's a lot of good growth areas to come out of that and um, we reviewed them uh, straight after the game, looked to them, hopefully improve on them this week and then um, look forward to Collingwood this weekend. It's a wonderful stage to you know to, to bounce back, isn't it? You know, the excitement, of, you know, the crowd record and stuff. So you won't, you guys will obviously be right up for this one. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. Um, we're up for every match. Um, it is exciting for the club that uh, having Collingwood uh, come to town in uh, Easter Thursday football, a game that we haven't had on our calendar for for a lot of years now. So it's exciting they're coming to town. Um, hopefully the gab is packed. Certainly looks like that. Um, but we need to be a lot better uh, this weekend than what we were last. That show that you haven't beaten Collingwood at the Gabba since 2010. So, um, is it time that you right that wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> certainly the plan. Uh, it has been a long time between drinks. I think the last time we beat them was in 2000, maybe 14 at the MCG. So, it's been a long time um, since we've beaten Collingwood, uh, and what a great opportunity we have this Thursday night. Speaking of stats, Locke's just been racking them up again. That's three in a row, 40 plus. What's it like having the ball magnet like that to help you out as well in the middle? Yeah, very good. Um, you know, he's uh, obviously started the year really well. Um, he's not only brought his ability to win the football to the group, but um, I think what he's been able to do off-field as well, um, the way he's fit into our culture, uh, he's a genuine guy. Um, so that all that stuff um, we really value at our football club and the fact that he's been able to translate that onto the field as well and been able to, you know, have a solid impact for us on the field is uh, a real credit to him. This game would have been in by quite a few people I expect him to be out there. Um, not quite sure what happened on the weekend um, and why he pulled out, but um, yeah, it's all a little bit of water under the bridge, that sort of stuff. Um, Collingwood's a fantastic side. They've got a really, really good midfield. Trelaw, Adams, Pendlebury, um, Sidebottom, Grundy. Um, they've got so many great names, so it'd be foolish for us just to focus on one player, um, even though he's got history at the club. But um, it's really important that we just focus on their, their full team and not just one player. Uh, Essendon's speed worried you um, on Saturday, particularly their, their small forwards and I think Rosie's quick and he sort of got away from you the week before. Are you, is there any concern about the perceived sort of lack of speed in that, in that back 50? Um, no. Uh, the job as a midfielder is to make it um, a lot easier for our defenders and the past two weeks we haven't been able to do that. We've had no pressure on the ball in and around the contest which um, exposes our back line. Um, it's really up to the midfield and the forwards to really apply that pressure and make the ball come back to suit our defenders, and uh, we haven't been able to do that. In a funny way, like, you know, the hype, you know, you get the noise around you guys winning, is it in a way a, a, a good loss in a way to maybe just temper it a little bit, just, just like, okay, boys, it's a long season, but, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you guys aren't there yet, so that's a bit of a reality check. Yeah, potentially, but it's unrealistic to think that we're going to go 22 and 0 yeah. for the year, so, um, you know. You, you never want to lose, but I guess it is a, it's, a, it's great that we, um, it's a game there that we can certainly learn off and Essendon expose some of our areas that we need to get better at. And, um, you know, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure we fix those areas up before Collingwood faces this weekend. Sorry, one more. Talking about the crowd this weekend might be the biggest since Bev's arrival. Is, is that it? A, that's probably not is something it? you want to think too much about, is it? Oh, look, I wasn't here when Feb was here, but um, he's certainly brought a lot of excitement to the game. And um, 
Look, I'm really excited to run out in the Gabba. I've never played at the Gabba when it's been at capacity, so um, it's a really exciting time for the football club. Um, but we need to show up and, and be prepared to play.